So Adam, you were very good at hyping people up, especially like when I dance. Kind of to yourself at first, and then once I got to know you a little bit, you opened up. I realized how many layers you have and how much deeper than you are from the first impression I got from you. He seems very sporty, very athletic. <laughs> First time I met him, he was like super serious. He, you knew that like everything was very important to him. But then as I got to know him, like he fools around way too much. And now I kind of think of him as like a stylish kind of like baller. I know him for his basketball moves. He's really good on the courts. Always says he's better than everybody else. It's debatable. Respect is very important to him. I think. I thought he was super cool and like super intimidating, pretty, pretty scary at the beginning. And yeah, you're not intimidating at all now. <laughs> oh, this guy who struggles a lot but continues to just walk out every day being light to others and in love with God, being a huge encouragement to others and um, someone who's just very lovable. Very warm, kind of like the sun. I only met her like twice before and then she just came down and just started talking to me, saying like, oh, I'm so glad you're here. You're gonna be my best friend now. Uh, we lived in the same floor uh, in Cleveland, Hinman, and I was like, damn, why, why does this girl come into our suite so much? And, like, why is she so loud? <laughs> I guess you're still loud. <laughs> More than that, you're um, kind, gentle, caring, a real blessing to be able to call you my sister. I feel like as I get to know her more, I feel like I, I've met her before or something. It's weird because I'm getting to know her now. But she just keeps messaging me, which I thought was really nice and attentive. And she offered to drive and stuff and invited me to things. When I first met him, he had uh, red hair, right? And then I thought he was a fob. And then I started to talk to him. I realized he was not from like any part of Korea. I low-key thought he was a gangpae because of his hair. <laughs> Why did he just have to do red hair anyway? The dork. But not like a bad dork. And he still is a dork. When I first met Cornelius, he was very tall. I was surprised that Cornelius was like older because he looks young. He's very chill. He had this like genuine interest to know at least all the guys. And I thought that was like admirable in a sense because I can't do that. Every time I would see Danny, it was always in juxt- like he was always next to like people who always picked on him. <laughs> I've seen Danny, especially like when I first came to KCF, like joking around a lot and doing a lot of things that were funny with his like body movements. Danny is like really thoughtful. He does have a very humorous side, very kind. He knows a lot, but again, doesn't feel the need to go around saying that he has experience and um, seen so many things about other people and uh, um, things about himself. Danny is really respectable. I respect him a lot, um, even though we're only a couple of months apart. When I look at Danny, I see uh, just a lot of light inside of his heart and he's just a person that is very pleasant to be around and the kind of person that you would want to see grow because as we all know, he's really good at what he does, especially with the media and art and film. So watch out. Danny's gonna make a lot of great things and we're all gonna be like, yeah, we knew Danny in college. I think I used to think Danny would hate me. Until very recently, that hasn't changed. No, I actually, I want to do Ed. My first impression of Ed was that he was a clown. I think, I definitely remember him. He was wearing like crazy colors and stuff. He was just like really loud and um, friendly with everybody and I heard him sing and then I fell in love with him. He has very unique laugh. <laughs> Something like that. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so this is my first impression of singer Yang. Um, so she came in with Yojin. I, I said I could take Yojin home. Right, because Yojin lived in Hillside, I lived in Hillside and I was driving at that time. And she was like, oh, can you take my friend? And I, as we're going, she goes, oh, oh, she lives in Susquehanna. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Singers started coming out more and more to our senior class stuff. I had no interest of trying to get to know her, but we became very close last semester. I hope that she stays in my life. <clears throat> do I have to say that? No, I don't have to say that. Okay. So he's my PB right now. So obviously we've gotten to know each other and got closer. Some people might think that he, you know, he's a big dude and whatnot and like, all that stuff and have that type of impression. But I remember when I first met him <coughs> and interacting with him and talking with him, 
for some reason, I just like, I was thinking, wow, this guy's a big softy, just talking to him and stuff. Nowadays, like, as, I, as I've gotten to know him, I see he's still sweet and still soft, uh, still gentle. Joel, I didn't really have a first impression of you. I think I was just really, when I saw you come out to Wednesday Night Prayer, I think that was the first time I saw you. I was thrilled to see you here. And I approached you and I remember saying hi and I thought you were very approachable. Um, and I was just really happy to see you in the fellowship. I think one of, one, of, one of my first impressions of Justin was at Praise Team. But I remember something that I really enjoyed being with him was like he had this like confidence and this like um, ability to strike conversations and it's always good to see him um, my first impression of Kelly yeah she had this like vibe where she wanted to get to know people definitely over the years especially the senior year too um, we've gotten to know each other a lot she spends a lot of time just thinking about people and, and getting to know them she still is but she was more she looked more like a, a mom a mother figure no, actually, okay, so Rachel, so she's very pretty. I thought that she was very shy and soft-spoken, but Danny and I went to just a kind of networking event, and Rachel actually came up to us and introduced herself again formally. I really appreciated that. Although we're all graduating, and Rachel is graduating too, um, she's just a force to be reckoned with, and she's so kind um, and so open and so willing, and she continues to come out. So I think, um, although um, I started to get to know her, and I'm still in the process of getting to know her this semester, um, that she would be a very pleasant person to continue to get to get to know. I remember seeing Sam at um, Adam Down summer camp after the first meeting, when we had the lunch on the long tables. I remember seeing across the room, and I was like, dang, this guy's so cool. <laughs> he looks like he's got everything together, and he's like so confident. And like at the same time, he's like so nice and everything. And I was just like, wow, this guy. It's so awesome. As we got to work with each other and, and as we were able to be part of the same fellowship and go to the same school, it was just, it's just confirmed that all the more we're thankful to have gotten to know Sam. When I first met you or saw you, I got kind of a mean girl's vibe, like leader of the plastics, like you can't sit with us. Of course that wasn't true. And I quickly learned that you, you love God, you love supporting your sisters. You get hurt like everyone else. You have emotions, you have depth. You don't necessarily wear it on your sleeve, but you're very outspoken and understanding where boundaries should lie and what takes you off and what doesn't. So yeah, I've come to appreciate getting to know you and knowing that you're not a mean girl. <laughs> I don't remember the first time we met, but I do remember early on Whenever I said hi to Sarah, she would say hi a little funny to me. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess that's just how she greets people. <laughs> I was like, hi, Sarah. And then Sarah back, hi. I was like, yeah. Here's what she He's definitely not Korean. And he's really good looking. I thought he was like half white, half Asian. But I found out. That he's Korean, so that kind of shook me a lot. And I found out he's a he's a softy. <laughs> it was when it was last semester, maybe or last year. I was studying with Richard at UDC, and he you came out, and he was like, "Yeah, everyone, come here." And I knew you from church, and I looked at you and smiled, but you didn't even look at me, and you just talked to Richard oh. and then left. And I was like, "Oh." oh. I see how it is. <laughs> you know, when I first saw him, I was like, who's this gang pit? I was like, wow, this guy's good at basketball. So he's even more of a gang pit. <laughs> no, I think over the years, uh, he's definitely like matured. Uh, I remember like I didn't really see him come out often. In case you ever see him come out more and then just seeing his change of heart and getting to talk to him more. And I used to call him Yo Handsome. So I thought he was pretty good looking. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Huh? <laughs> You gotta cut that hair, man. <laughs> Looks like Jackie Chan, like old school Jackie Chan. I love you, man. He's a great dude. And to all the seniors, um, it was just a pleasure to see our class get a lot closer than being like last year or even the year before that. Throughout the small things that um, each one of us has tried to initiate, all of those things are just very. I'm very grateful for all, all of that. Uh, to everyone in KCF, I just want to say thank you so much for bringing me in into this community. 
even everyone who graduated before, and to everyone, all the adult members from church and Pastor Song, I just want to say thank you so much for really investing in this ministry, investing in our young, foolish lives uh, as we get to know more about each other, as we get to know more about ourselves, as we get to know more about God. So I just want to say really thank you so much. And I guess just like a last message, I just want to say for those who are in some way, shape or form suffering in the community, whatever personal things you're going through, know that God sees every tear. God sees all the moments when you're weeping and he's weeping with you. Jesus is praying for you and look towards the day when Christ will return, um, where everything will be made perfect. Um, may that be your hope, may that be our hope as we go forth. Thank you. Uh, we're doing a group thing and then we're coming back up. Professor, um, thank you so much for your speech and, um, and your sermon. Um, and the, yeah, Choi Sun, Deacon Choi, thank you so much uh, how much you've served uh, for us. Um, oh God, God. Uh, to you I <laughs> not wow. Jesus has Confident. My first, my personal, when Sarah raises her hand, I don't know if it's to slap someone or to slap someone. It's always nice to hear Ed sing a song, unless you're one of those people who actually want to hear the lyrics. Once I got excited because I saw Danny Trejo at East Gym balling out, and then I realized it was just Joan. <laughs> Wait, from the show, show to the camera. Wow. Who's Danny Trejo? 